Hey gamers. So you are wondering which is the best mouse for gaming. I'm here to help you out. I'm either actually gonna help you take it off your list or consider it. So without further ado, let's get straight into business. The Logitech G Pro Wireless. Firstly, obviously, it's wireless. I used to play a lot of F FPS games, you know, CSGO, Apex Legends, Valorant, Fortnite, all the good stuff. All the all the competitive shooter games. Uh, uh, all the, the first person shooter or th third person shooter if you're c also with Fortnite. The best part of, about it being wireless is that you don't have that wire, that, e that wire attached to your mouse that drags along with you when you have to make swift movements with your arm, you know. It depends if you're playing on low sensitivity you got to do a lot of this you know what i mean and it's annoying when you have that wire attached to your mouse dragging along with you kind of feels like you got extra weight on it right when i when i was when i started using this it felt so much better to use you know i was kind of skeptical about using mouses that are wireless but this one wow secondly this thing is light and i'm not exaggerating here man this mouse is light okay when i get to this point it's it you know whenever you pick your, your gaming mouse it's always down to personal preference you know I'm, I'm just here to help you understand the benefits of this mouse you know for me personally i prefer mouses that are lighter you know i, I don't really like heavy mouses because especially when you're playing fps games is it's uh, you got to put a lot of energy into you know making swift movements with your arm and it can take up a lot of energy and can hurt your arm a little bit so the fact that it is light and wireless it feels good man Whew. thirdly the battery life on this thing can last a long time and I, it's, i'm still not exaggerating here this this thing can last like four or five days without it being charged and even if you accidentally leave it on you know you, you just forget to turn it off here it can last four to five days i'm not even joking like this the battery life on this thing is amazing so i mean yeah long battery life man that's so good fourthly and i think this is a really important point about this mouse and it's the response time. The, the, that, that's why, like, I'm skeptical about buying wireless mouses because, you know, you never know if there might be a delay with the mouse. You, you really never know. And with this one, there was, it, there was barely any delay on it. It, it. it feels like you're using a wired mouse. Like, I'm not even joking here, guys. I'm still not exaggerating. I was so amazed at the response time of this. It's like... I'm just repeating myself like it, it's like using a wired mouse I swear to god it's it I was so blown away how fast of a response time this thing has and it's it's really starting to to make sense about the price tag on this thing now that's the one downside about this I'll get that into later I'll get into that later in the video so this mouse uses hero which is which stands for well what, what does it stand for high efficiency rated optical so it uses the hero sensor now i you know i'm i'm not a huge nerd with this stuff. i love tech but i'm not a huge nerd on the specifics on 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 the sensor i was like hmm, let's try it out i did boom just end the video there boom so good and lastly it is durable but i mean it's 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 been already two years i've been using it and it's it's just it feels like i just bought it you know it's, there, there was there's no delay on the response time of this mouse there's no i mean i haven't thrown this thing or i've smashed it a couple times nope 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 not doing it not doing it not doing it but still looks pretty good still looks intact it's durable 
unless you don't have a habit of, you know, throwing your mouse or smashing the shit out of this. I mean, just don't, don't. I mean, it can take a few hits. What the fuck? It can take a few ha smashes, but just don't. Okay, because that leads to my that one downside about this mouse. It's expensive. I mean, compared to all the mouses out there, wireless, wired, this thing is expensive. You can understand all the benefits of this. You know, it, it kind of it kind of adds up to why the price tag is the way it is. Even still, even till now, you know, it's been out for a while, and the price tag is still pretty high. There's probably other places in Hong Kong that has a better price, but I bought this for a thousand three hundred. So, it's a pretty hefty price tag, but still, it kind of just makes up for the fact that it's just such a good mouse. It, it really, it has such a nice, simple design. You know, there's nothing complicated about this. You got the two buttons on the side. You got, two, you got the simple mouse. You know, maybe one possible downside for you guys is that it doesn't have much RGB on it. I mean, I don't care personally for RGB, but you got one here. Isn't that enough? And plus, it's a waste of battery, honestly. And you know, you can adjust this in the in the what's called the G Hub. Turn it off, turn it on, save some battery. I don't, I'm completely up to you. Those are the only two possible, or actually, the the biggest downside is the price, and the other possible downside is no RGB. Another point to add is that the design is is simple. It's it's beautiful. It's not so big, you know. I have fairly small hands, but it fits perfectly in my hand. So, I mean, even for for people with big hands, you know, it 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 the the size of it is just perfect for all hand sizes. You know, even if your your hands are big, just hold it like this and you're playing FPS games or whatever game, and you just hold it like this. It's fine. Perfect to you. If you prefer simple designs or you prefer complicated designs, go with the Razer Nagagagarara. Is that what it's called? So, I mean, other than that, I hope this little quick product review or tech review about this thing can help you either consider it or take it off your list. So, throughout the other half of this video, I put a little bit of gameplay of me playing CSGO. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, yeah, yeah. Why are you muted, bro? Why are you muted? You're toxic, bro. Oh, wait, we're CTs? Oh, damn. Well. Unlucky. All right. I live on T side, guys. What is this? You got this. Come on, chick. Easy. Oh my twits and nickels. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh dear. Two. Two. Oh. Okay, friend. I got a good spawn for B. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fast, fast, fast. Okay. One more control banana. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, control. Oh oh. Oh yeah, what about me? people over there on banana he decided to shoot me oh okay oh yeah uh, is, this the, is this how you line up the flash 
I got spawn. I got the spawn. This is gonna be epic, guys. It's gonna be. I hope. Go up, screen. Yep, that's very epic. Coffin one. He's fuck slow. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Very low, bro. Or it just. Why? Why he do that? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Con, 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 last. Oh, fuck. What was that? Why? Why? Can you flash mid? Green? One boiler. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Easy, this is easy game. Easy months, easy months. There you go. Save that, save that, please. Oh, you want to bite off more than you can chew. Okay. I like the AirPods. They're nice. Here's my quick tech review. Time is so shit. I'm too old for this. Oh god. He's insane, dude. Wow, is insane. Whoa, he's 23 and 8. This guy's actually insane. Nice one. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that. Nice trade, nice trade. Well done. 